in the previous video, we have compared analog and digital signal. In this video, we are going to look at the entire chain or the processes of every single step along the way to bring us from a continuous analog waveform to a digital waveform, which is a series of highs and lows, ones and zeros. Okay, we favor digital because signals can be regenerated. We can add effects to it. We can mix digital music. Things are some things we can do things to digital signals that we cannot do to analog signals. All right. So in this process, right, uh, generally what you need to know is uh, there are a few steps along the way. Let's say, for example, now I'm speaking into a microphone and the microphone catches my voice. My voice creates vibration inside a magnetic field. So there's probably a magnet inside my either a piezo crystal or a magnet inside my mic. I'm not sure which mic, which mic I'm using. Okay. And that creates a small electrical voltage that I can feed into a ADC circuit. Miss, what is an ADC? Okay. So... You see A for analog, D for digital. So it is analog to digital converter. Okay. So it will take my voice, okay, and change it to ones and zeros. But what is happening inside analog and digital converter? Okay. Let us look at what is going on. So here you can see the analog signal. My voice are talking to you right now. So there are a few steps that will happen along the way. The first thing that will happen is this process called sampling. So this process here is called sampling. Okay, this is in the analog to digital converter in the ADC. So sampling is happening here. And uh, I'm sampling at a certain equal interval. So let's say I take this reading of the sound wave and after a certain interval, maybe one millisecond, I take another sound wave reading because what you register here, right? XT or this one is normally some form of a small EMF. Okay, that is fed into the circuit. So I pick up all this sampling and I sample it at regular intervals. So I'll say sampling at regular intervals. Okay, so from here you will see uh, if let's say I sample sample at regular intervals, uh, I will end up with a reading that looks like this. Let me zoom in for you. I think let me drag it for you now. Okay, so I'll get different different readings like this. And then we'll go through this process called uh, quantization. Quantization here meaning after I sample the readings like this one, what I will do is at this process from here to here, I will begin the binary conversion okay so this one is a uh, sampling this is normally in your syllabus we will follow a four bit conversion okay so we will change things into bits so this one is not pre not very accurate but i couldn't find a better one online okay so this is something else that i found on youtube okay so i'll zoom in for you here, you will see that um, we go from 8 bits small. Hang on. Here, you will see that we have gone from 8 to negative 8. Or specifically, let me make it bigger for you. Yeah. We have gone from 8. Hmm. One sec, computer problem. Nah, we have gone from 8 to negative 8. Okay, so this is a 4-bit conversion. All right, so when I say this is a 4-bit conversion, what I'm essentially telling you is I will chop up the entire waveform. This waveform, after I sample at regular intervals, I will cut it up horizontally in 16 bits. It can be 8 to negative 8, it can be 0 to 16. Okay, so we're going to cut it up and then we will convert this into binary. Okay, so normally from the perspective of circuit, we don't go from negative 8 to 8. Lah. We'll go from 0 to 16 or 0 to 15. Okay, okay back to the actual scheme. Actual scheme? <laughs> actual frame. 
Okay, anyway, both of these happens inside the ABC. Analog to digital converter. Okay, so once we have this reading, we will convert this, when they say encoding, it also means convert it to binary number. Binary number. Okay, so binary number is a series of ones and zeros. So it really depends on what number you get. And because uh, we follow a 4-bit conversion, right, uh, what we will tend to get is numbers between 0 to 15. Okay, why 0 to 15? Uh? Let's think about your binary numbers now. Okay, so here is a table of binary numbers. You can use your calculator to convert. Uh, I will show you in a different video how to do that. But if you are, if you know how to convert binary numbers, you will know that if this is a four bit conversion, this is because we have four digit one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the smallest number. There are four bits here, four bits, four bytes. Okay, and the biggest one would be 1111, which is corresponding to 15. Okay, so when we say we transfer ones and zeros, from the perspective of the circuit, it just means whether the switch is turned on or turned off. So the switch is off, 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 on, off, off, on, off, etc., etc. But we're not really going to talk about that. We're just going to tell you that we can convert this to binary numbers. So if I can split this one from 1 all the way to 15, because this is 0 here, so I can take all the readings that is uh, in integer format and converts it from one to ones and zeros. Okay, so what have we done so far? We have taken the analog signal, sample it at regular intervals, do a 4-bit conversion to change it to binary numbers. So all of this is happening inside the ABC. In your past year question, the block diagram will definitely not look this colorful. Why would they make it so nice? Okay, but we are already here at this process where we get a series of ones and zeros. Okay, so right now, in the chain diagram that you will see uh, in your past year question, it will look something like this. Okay, you have a mic. So normally a circle with a line. This is a mic. Okay, this is an amplifier. Amplifier. This is an analog to digital converter. So I find because we are learning this chapter as sort of like knowledge or extra knowledge, fun facts, repeating can help you remember. Okay. And then we will have that, the next one, a parallel to serial converter. So before I talk about the parallel to serial converter, we have done this one, two, and three step already. Amplifier simply means that maybe if I whisper into the mic, the mic actually may have to amplify my noise. Physics ASMR. <laughs> okay, so this uh, amplifier is here, mic is here. This ADC, sometimes you are asked to define the role of an ADC. Okay, so our analog and digital converter, uh, basically you have to repeat what I've said just now, no? whatever I've said just now about the conversion all right, so first one, you should say that it is sampled at regular intervals, known as sampling frequency or sampling rate. So this is the definition of sampling frequency. So we will take readings of the analog signal at regular time interval. 1 millisecond, for example, or 1 second. Of course, the smaller the interval, the more quality the sound. If not, then I'll sound like a robot. Okay? So this one is sampling. And after sampling, remember? So think about this diagram. After we sample at regular intervals, we will do a 4-bit conversion for your syllabus. Look. Telephone uh, is already 64 bit. So 4 bit is a robot sound. But because we cannot binary number so many things. Uh, can you imagine if there's a 24 bit, how many ones and zeros we have? You can go to school home and cry. 
Let's not go home and cry. Cries in binary. Okay, so we're going to stick to 4-bit because it makes sense. Uh, we just want to know the process. And then we'll leave all the heavy-duty mathematic heavy lifting for our computers. All right, so here we're going to second step. Take the binary, the value of the sample voltage. Okay, it's measured at each sampling time and converted into a binary number that represents uh, the voltage value. Okay, so this is your step two. We are going to convert this into ones and zeros. So that's step two. Conversion to binary. All right. So this is what is happening inside your A, D, C. So sound wave, sample at regular interval, change to binary. But after changing to binary, we need to do this parallel to serial converter. Hiya, what is this parallel to serial converter? So imagine oh, the sound wave here, the sound wave already. And then we go through the ADC process, we do the sampling. And then after that, we get a bunch of ones and zeros. That is a lot, a lot of code. Leh. What does the parallel to serial converter do? Okay, it will take all this code and then transmit it one by one. Because if not, your system suddenly, boom, gets many, many ones and zeros. Because here you can see there are many, many readings, GG, like that. Okay, so we're going to take the information signal and transfer it one at a time down the transmission line. Okay, so I've typed out the role of a parallel to serial con converter. It takes simultaneous bit of a binary number. So when we say a bit, right, the bit is one of the digits in your four bit conversion. Okay, so one of this single digit is called a bit. Many digits is called a byte. Your songs are typically a few hundred megabytes. Okay, so yes, we're talking about mega. So that's why the sampling rate is pretty high. So from here, uh, once we pass it through, take simultaneous bit of binary number and transmit them one after another down a single transmission line. So we don't want to flood the cable with a bunch of ones and zeros because they're coming at the same time. So when you get all these ones and zeros, they will transfer it like zero, 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 one, then. So it will transmit one at a time. Okay, so this all this happens on my end, the recorder end or the transmitter end. Okay, sometimes the block diagram can look like this. Sometimes they will add all this lah, because technically all of this, they come together in a package. Okay, so simplified, they can put it this way. Of course, we can have multi-channel cable. If we have multi-channel cable, then we don't need a parallel to serial converter because each channel will have one byte. Each channel, one bit, not one byte, one bit, one bit for each channel. Okay, so here we have successfully changed my voice into a bunch of ones and zeros. So we changed to binary number. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, and maybe in this process, depending on the circuitry, we may actually pass it through a parallel to serial converter. Parallel to serial converter. Okay. And then we will pass it through some transmission line. Maybe it's a cable. Maybe it's an optic fiber. Maybe it's a Wi-Fi. Don't know. Maybe it's all of the above. Okay. Pass it through a transmission line. And finally, we are at your side of the story. We are just here, guys. Okay, when you think about it, okay, we started from here. Ta -ta 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 -ta, I talk in the mic. We convert everything binary in my computer. 
transfer through internet, now binary in your computer. Your computer's job is to take the binary code and build back into some way for you to hear. Okay, so the way the computer does it is that it will just reverse the process. Okay, so you see a uh, parallel to serial conduct converter. Here you have serial to parallel converter. Makes sense. Okay, so then after that, uh, analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter. So I'll write this down. This. It's a digital, so it's basically repeating the process, but in the opposite direction. Okay, and then this is obviously an, another amplifier, the triangle, and this is a loudspeaker. That you can hear either in your headphones or your computer speaker right now. Okay, so you need to know the blockchain. Mm -hmm. And then the purpose of every single step along the way. Okay, let me fill up this flowchart first. Okay, so we pass it through the transmission line. And then depending on the circuitry, uh, we may or may not go back to a serial to parallel. I'm just going to steal out some space here. Serial to parallel converter. Okay, and then we will do, we will reconstruct this. This part here is known as a digital to analog conversion. And then you get this wave. Huh? So let's compare these two waves. Do they think they look the same? This was the original wave that was transmitted. Go through so many processes to get this one. It kind of looks like it, but not really. So maybe if you can listen to this, you will hear that it kind of sounds like me, but very distorted. All right. So you will notice that the rounding is always downwards. Okay. So we are, what we are going to do is now we're going to examine the process from the first step until we reach here. And we think about how to improve the sound quality of this staircase graph. Okay. So let's recap what we have learned so far. Everything is actually summarized inside this block diagram. Okay. So first, we have a mic. And then we amplify the sound if needed and send it to an analog to digital converter. We need to be able to explain what happens in the analog to digital converter. So the analog signal is uh, sampled at regular intervals. And the value of the sampling voltage is converted to binary. Sample at regular intervals, convert to binary. Okay, so once we convert to binary, we will send it to a parallel to serial converter. Parallel to serial converter means it takes all the ones and zeros and send it out one bit, one number at a time. Unless you have a multi-channel cable like this, in which you don't need a parallel to serial converter. Depends on the circuit. All right. So if you have a parallel to serial converter, you need to change it back to parallel. So serial to parallel converter again. In this case, if let's say it's multi-channel, you don't need it again. Mm -hmm. All right. And then once this is this part is inside your computer. So when you are here, your computer will take all the ones and zeros and try to rebuild my sound. Do I really sound like me in person? I don't know. Those of you who play classical instruments or listen to classical music, you will know that the recording of a grand piano is doesn't sound doesn't sound exactly like the grand piano when you're in the same concert hall. Something is missing one. You may not be able to put a finger on it, but it's gonna be missing because it's a regenerated artificial sound. I am not really inside your computer. I'm not really inside your head. All the voices you hear of your teachers are just generated one. Okay. Okay, anyway. This is the blockchain. You have to know every single step. And we're going to look at the past year question. And in the past year question, we'll talk about how to improve the signal.